Would you pay $20 million for a car? How about $50 million? $100 million? Even that wouldn't be enough to buy the most expensive car ever sold at auction. So let's start small. Well, if you can consider $22 million small and work our way up the money ladder with two contenders tied at number 10. Meet the dynamic duo, the 1956 Ferrari 290 MM and the 1955 Ferrari 410 Sport Spider, which sold for an astonishing $22,005,000 each. These beauties aren't just cars. They're the stuff of every car enthusiast's wildest dreams. And let's be honest, who wouldn't want the ultimate bragging rights of owning a genuine race car? Let's start with the 1956 Ferrari 290 MM by Sergio Scaglietti. It's a legendary car with a jaw-dropping price tag sold at Sotheby's Automotive Auction. Since there are only three survivors out of the four 290mm models ever built, this car is extremely rare. Now, let's shift gears to the 1955 Ferrari 410 Sport Spider. This car means serious business, with its 24 spark plug 4.9 liter V12 engine designed and constructed by the one and only Sergio Scaglietti. It's no surprise that this race car was extensively driven by legends like Juan Manuel Fangio and Carroll Shelby. Speaking of Shelby, he had more victories in this gym than in any other race car. The car is a true champion and has the numbers to prove it. But wait, there's more. This 410 Sport Spider still boasts its original matching numbered engine, chassis, and body, along with an original fuel tank inscribed by none other than Shelby himself. It's a true piece of racing history that'll make your heart skip a beat. Keeping the engine revving at number 9 is the magnificent 1956 Aston Martin DBR1, the creme de la creme of automotive excellence. This car sold for the jaw-dropping price of $22,550,000 in an auction that had collectors going wild. Let's talk about exclusivity. This 1956 Aston Martin DBR1 is one of only five ever made, making it rarer than a unicorn sighting. And guess what? It's the only one ever to hit the public auction stage. But it's not just about looks, this beauty has some serious racing heritage. The mastermind behind its creation, David Brown, had a burning dream to conquer the legendary Le Mans 24-hour race. While the DBR1 participated in the race for three consecutive years from 56 to 58, luck may not have been on its side, but it sure left its mark on the track. The real showstopper was at the 1959 Nürburgring 1,000km race, which saw the DBR1 break the lap record not once, not twice, but a whopping 16 times. The 1956 Aston Martin DBR1 has an impressive racing resume, having competed in a total of 16 major international races between 56 and 59. It's a true globe-trotting superstar, and its story is as captivating as a blockbuster movie. Now, here's the icing on the cake. This beauty has been lovingly restored to its former glory while retaining all its original features, giving it that timeless allure that collectors crave. Now, zooming into the 8th spot is the 1964 Ferrari 275 GTBC Special by Scaglietti, with an incredible price of $26,400,000. Back in the groovy days of May 1965, this stunning stallion found its first proud owner, ready to conquer both the racetracks and the streets with unmatched style. Picture this beast in its original Rosso Cina hue standing out like a fiery comet. But hold on to your hats, folks, because the story doesn't end there. This Ferrari went through a fabulous makeover at the factory, embracing a sophisticated Grigio Scudo metalizzato tone worthy of any Hollywood star. But that's not all. To add to that extra dose of flair, the folks at Ferrari blessed it with a striking light silver center stripe. Talk about elegance with a twist. It's like finding the perfect accessory to make an already incredible outfit pop. Now, let's talk about performance. This car is not just about looks. The clever minds at Ferrari made some magical tweaks to boost its performance game. Say hello to nose vents that resemble the famous 250 GTOs. These nifty additions helped keep the engine cool under pressure, making sure the 275 GTBC could handle any challenge thrown its way. It's a classic car that stands tall and proud, embracing its heritage with every rev of the engine. 
At number seven is the red hot 1967 Ferrari 275 GTB 4S NART Spider by Scaglietti. This speed demon was snatched up for the tire screeching price of $27,500,000? This ride is so hot, it practically sizzles. Back in the 1960s, this car was custom built for Luigi Cinetti, the ultimate Ferrari importer in the United States. And here's the kicker, only 10 of these masterpieces were ever created. Talk about rare and exclusive. Now, let's rewind the clock to a time when these exquisite beauties were originally sold for a mere $8,000. Can you believe it? But wait, there's more. This Ferrari packs a powerful punch with its 3,286cc V12 engine boasting four overhead camshafts. And let's not forget about those six Weber carburetors that make the engine's fuel cell system sing in perfect harmony. It's a symphony of speed and style that'll leave you breathless. Now here's a colorful twist. This sleek spider used to rock a metallic blue hue, but it got a fiery makeover in the 1980s and transformed into the vibrant red stunner you see today. This car is truly a head turner. It's now time to witness the roaring power of the 1956 Ferrari 290mm by Scaglietti, shooting into sixth place with an eye-popping $28,005,000 price tag. It seems classic Ferraris keep leaving the competition in the dust. But this isn't your average classic car, oh no! The 1956 Ferrari 290mm has a legendary history that'll blow your mind. It's graced the asphalt of the World Sports Car Championship and was once tamed by none other than the racing icon himself, Juan Manuel Fangio. Talk about driving with the stars! This masterpiece was born to dominate the racing circuit. Fangio took the wheel and fearlessly navigated this beast through the twists and turns of the prestigious Mil Miglia race, part of the legendary WS series. Feeling the adrenaline yet? Now, cars like these are the stuff of dreams for collectors. Rarely do you come across a gem like the 290mm, kissed by the hands of racing legends and bathed in the glorious victory of a WCS win. It's like owning a piece of racing history. Shifting gears into the top five is the 1954 Mercedes-Benz W196R Formula One racing single-seater. With an incredible price of $29,650,095. Now hold on tight, because we're driving into the golden age of Formula One racing with this legendary car. And guess who had the honor of piloting this speed demon? None other than racing maestro himself, Juan Manuel Fangio. The guy was a legend, with deafness, precision, and tenacity that earned him not one, not two, but five world championship titles. Talk about a racing superstar! But the spotlight shines even brighter on that fateful year of 1954 when Fangio clinched his second Formula One World Championship, all thanks to the remarkable Mercedes-Benz W196R. This car proved to the world that the folks at Mercedes-Benz had taken back their throne in the realm of automotive excellence, and boy, did they do it with style. The W196R wasn't just built for speed, it was a work of art. Every twist and turn on the track was a testament to its engineering brilliance, leaving spectators in awe of its sheer power and elegance. Cruising into our fourth spot is a 1957 Ferrari 335 Sport by Scaglietti, selling for the mind-boggling price of $35,711,359. Picture this. The roaring engine, the wind in your hair, and the scent of adventure in the air. The Ferrari 335 Sport made its grand entrance onto the racing scene at the legendary Sebring 12-hour race. Though the car secured a sixth-place finish, it was just the beginning. Fast forward to the iconic Mila Miglia, where the Ferrari truly came alive, blazing through the race and coming in a commendable second place. But wait, the story doesn't end there. In preparation for the legendary 24 Hours of Le Mans, Ferrari decided to kick things up a notch. They upgraded the engine and set a record that blew everyone's minds, a lap faster than 200 kilometers an hour, a feat that had never been seen before. 
Despite an untimely retirement due to engine trouble, the car had already etched its name in the world of motorsport. The car retired at the 1958 Bahamas Speed Week, ending its competitive career without experiencing a significant accident. Taking third place is the 1962 Ferrari 250 GTO Berlinetta. It's a speed demon that left the competition in the dust, all while sporting a jaw-dropping price tag of $38,115,000. When it comes to auctions, the Prancing Horse logo means serious business. There's no horsing around here. This car is the real deal, and its racetrack adventures saw it appear in more races than any other Ferrari 250 GTO in history. Impressive, right? Just days after rolling off the production line, this Ferrari was thrown into the heat of the race. The 250 GTO unleashed its power in the renowned 1962 Tour de France automobile race. And the car definitely made its mark. After securing an impressive second place finish, it proved that this wasn't just any ordinary Ferrari. This was a game changer in the world of competitive racing. But the journey was far from over. After multiple victories at events around the world, the real showstopper moment came in 1965, when the passionate Ferrari enthusiast Fabrizio Violati couldn't resist owning this magnificent beast. From then on, Violati and the 250 GTO became an unstoppable duo, conquering races with great success until his passing in 2010. The car was pampered and maintained to be race ready to hit the track, and that's reflected in the hefty price tag. Zooming past the finish line in second place is this 1962 Ferrari 250 GTO. Taking the silver medal with an auction price of $48,405,000. Talk about a car that commands awe and admiration. This Ferrari is a true jewel in the crown of automobile history, one of only 36 models ever created. And this is not just any 250 GTO, it's one of the Elite Four, specially upgraded to the Series 2 GTO 64 coachwork by the master craftsman Scaglietti. Pretty fancy, huh? On the racetrack, this powerhouse revved its engine to success, snatching the top spot in the 1962 Italian Championship. Subsequent owners of this iconic vehicle continued its legacy of triumph, guiding it to sensational victories in the thrilling Targa Floria races in both 1963 and 1964. The 250 GTO was on fire, leaving its competitors in its wake. But the grand crescendo of this roaring beast came in 1965, when it captured the prestigious Reddix Trophy at Brands Hatch. It was a fitting finale for a car that already left an indelible mark on the racing world. Taking the checkered flag is the Mercedes-Benz 300 SLR Olenhout Coupe, with an astronomical price tag of $143 million. This car doesn't just break speed limits, it breaks bank accounts too. Revving its engine into the history books, the 1955 Mercedes-Benz 300 SLR Olenhout Coupe is one of the only two prototypes ever created that year. It's the kind of car that automotive enthusiasts dream of. And when it unexpectedly hit the market, the whole world was on the edge of their seats. This beauty is the pinnacle of automotive design and engineering, named in honor of its creator, the legendary chief engineer, Rudolf Ullenhout. This particular Mercedes-Benz found a new home with a private collector believed to be from the UK in 2022. Proceeds from this record-breaking sale are being used to ignite a global initiative called the Mercedes-Benz Fund, which is about boosting the future of environmental science. Now, despite being drenched in notoriety and desired by many, this Mercedes-Benz 300 SLR Ullenhout Coupe isn't exactly a significant historical artifact. Surprised? Well, it never actually hit the racetrack and had minimal influence on subsequent models. But don't let that dim the spotlight on this stunner. It may not have the most thrilling backstory, but boy is it the most expensive car ever sold at auction. Check out another great video. Just tap or click. Hit that subscribe button and ring that notification bell. Thanks for watching.